-hmm. I'm back again talking about vectorizing clip art and we had just done a black and white image in the last two videos and so now we're on number three and we're going to work with some color um, clip art. So I'm going to clip on this one that says images for Valentine's clip art or I can go over here to where it says images. Either way it doesn't matter. And it brings us back to the same page. And like I said, you're looking for very simple types of drawings, nothing complicated. Like this, whoops, this one over here, um, as beautiful as it is, you could probably do it if you work hard at it, but it's not simple. Let's look down and see if there's anything else. This looks like it has a lot of cute little ones probably hidden in there. Yeah. Um, this is the one we just did in the last video. Um, there's Minnie and Mickey, that could be done but I'm just trying to find something that's Bullwinkle's kind of cute. Tweety Pie. And this would be another simple color image. I'm going to show you that one. <clears throat> Waiting for it to come up. Okay. Again, this brought us up to clicker.com. We discussed that in the last one. And this is um, domain free. So I'm going to go ahead and um, we already know, actually you could probably download it, but I'm not even going to bother with that. I'm just going to go ahead and use my snip tool again. Because the last time that we tried doing this, it came black inside the Inspiration Studio. So I'm going to hit new. And I get this crossbar here. And I'm just going to encircle this. And then when I get here, you're going to go to where the two pages are. It says copy. And then I'm going to click on my Pazzles Inspiration Studio and hit Paste, which is the clip bar, clipboard. So what I need to do now is go to Image, Interpolation, Standard. And I'm going to hit 4 again because it's so small. Because like I said, I like my stuff to be big. And then I could always make it smaller and have good quality. So I'm going to go to Detect Intensity click on that one. It has like the four different colors in the box. I'm going to click on my heart and as you can see it came up pretty intense. I usually just tweak it up slightly. I'm going to hit OK and in the Pazzles Inspiration Studio it automatically vectorizes it. If you're in the regular software then you would have to do a second step. It would come up black and then you'd have to come over here and hit the um, magic wand and go click it again. Mine just does it in one step. To be honest with you I prefer it the old way. So I'm gonna get rid of my clipboard. I don't need that anymore. I'm gonna get rid of these two boxes and I'm looking for eight lines that sometimes come aboard when you do this. Oops, two pieces, I forgot about that. Um, I'm going to put these together, go to the lock down here, which is group of transparency, and then I'm going to hit a color. And so that is how you would do a very, very simple um, color. You have to use this in, in intensity box here. So that's another one. I'm just going to save this into my image gallery. And I believe I have hearts or valentines or something in here somewhere. I'm trying to see where it's at. Actually, I think I'm going to put that under shapes. Because that's where I usually go to look for my hearts. I'm going to put that there. And I'm also going to put it under love. And I'll put that there. So I know it's in both places. So if I click on this and scroll through. And this is some of the stuff that comes with the Pro software and of course there will be some things that I've added. I'm not sure about this category. I may not have. Um, there it is. So I know that I have it and I know it's in the other one. So that's that one. Let's go back to the internet. Because that was real easy. Let's find something that's a little more complicated. Okay, we brought us back to this page. Um, how about this little bear with the heart? He's kind of cute. I like this idea, so I'm going to click on him. Okay, let's see. It's cool holiday graphics. Let's go look at the terms. And there's various different ones. There's some really cute stuff on here. Okay, it says free my space, be my Valentine clip art graphics. And I get, immediately I go down and I look for terms of use, if there are any. Sometimes there are and sometimes they're not. Um, 
and when I see that there aren't then I just use it for my own personal use I do not use it for sale of course I don't really sell anything anyway he is really cute um, although I'm looking at that one I kinda like this one better to be honest with you I think I'm gonna do this one so I'm gonna copy image go to my Pazzles Inspiration Studio okay, let me get this color palette out of the way here but go back to image interpolation standard this time I'm going to do it five times because I want it to be large and there it is now I can try vectorizing this it may or may not work I don't want any of this other stuff here so what I'm going to do is hit image crop I want to crop a rectangle which is really a square but just drawing around it and it's basically the same thing that the other um, snippet tool did which is with the Windows program okay once I get it where I want it I'm gonna release my mouse and what it did is it took a photograph of it if I pull this aside you'll see the original is still there I don't need the original so I'm going to erase that <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry I'm still fighting my cold and I'm going to shrink this up slightly and I'm just going to try and see whether or not it will vectorize. We'll experiment. So I'm going to try it with just the regular vectorization. Um, I'll try it with three. I'll try it with four. That's getting to be too much. Yeah, there's too many colors going on here. So that's one. I think I like the the one better. Let's try it and just see what happens. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's because of all the highlights in here. Ideally you don't want that stuff in there. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's a fairly simple drawing. Okay, so let me get my arrow key. Um, let's get rid of some of this red in here. Is it grouping? I don't know why it's doing that. So I can go in here and clean it up like that. <clears throat> I don't want that white one in there. Like I said, there's different ways of doing it. I'm just showing you one way. In fact, let me try and see if there's a solid. Yeah, the solid bear did turn out well. And I'm happy with that. I'm doing it that way because I don't want to keep going over and over there's another one that'll work well um, we need the valentine up oh, there's some stuff on there so you can see it on the edges to the right there so I don't need any oh you know what it is it's connected but it looks frayed so what I'm gonna do is get in close to this and I'm gonna clean this up I want his paw to go over it anyway so I'm using my arc replace by arc tool and I, what I did is click unclick click click unclick click and see how fast that goes click unclick click click now an imaginary unclick click imagine where it would be at and I want to clean up this side here slightly. It's a little wavy. Click, unclick, click. So I've got my heart. <coughs> and the mouth looks fine. Just to change the color, I'll change it to white for the time being. Um, little scruffy things in his ears. I don't want the whole thing. I just want the black. I'm going to change it to white and I'm going to move that and do the same thing with this black one here change it to white and I'll move that by the other ear now if you look at the eyes <coughs> and the nose like the muzzle area those would be fairly simple to make just with our draw tools so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to copy that right over the image that's pretty good so I'll put that one over here and then do it again with the other. And it's tilted slightly, so we'll tilt it. That's pretty good. 
it's not going to be perfect. I really don't care if it's perfect or not because each drawing is unique.